Hey, this is Scott with the Scotch Test Dummies, and we got our first black box blind review. I've set it up for Bart. He doesn't know what's in here, and we're going to test it. Test it! All right, we're back. Bart was just off camera. Ooh. I set this up. This is our blind box. Uh, first blind box review. This was an idea we had to do coming into 2018. Right. Um, Bart doesn't have any idea. What this is. He knows it's a bourbon. No, it's a bourbon. And that's it. Right. So I've bought it. Hey, it's been hidden it. and concealed. Now, I will tell you, I did have plans to taste this uh, before today, and I did not. Mm. So I don't have notes on it. Hmm. You guys can see what it is. Of course, it's in the title and everything. And by the time this airs, he'll know what it is because we'll, we'll reveal here, here in a little bit. I cannot see what it is. But we're going to give what this should do. What we want to get from this is a honest right. kind of nosing. Yes. Um, tasting notes. Sure, it's a little tight. Maybe we'll talk about what you think a price range is for this, how old it is, ABV. stuff like that. Yeah, so I've been doing my quick hitters blind. So I've been trying to train my nose and my palate to pick stuff out. Sometimes I'm crazy wrong. Sometimes I'm crazy right. Go check out some of those quick hitters. Now, our Scotch God shout out, I'm going to give to Ron Bow. Ooh, love Ron Bow. Because he had a good point with these. Really? And that is we should be using a, uh, a, a colored glass so, we can, so that whoever is blind in this wouldn't be able to see... Um, what color it is. But we know we're doing bourbons. Bourbons are usually rich in yeah. color anyway. Then that maybe that's something we'll have to, we don't have any colored glasses right now. Right. Um we've even talked about getting some colored Glen Cairns with our logo on. Yeah. So people could but, do these testings and stuff. Yeah, and I thought they were available um readily available and I got to looking online and mm. they're not. You gotta go to China. So we were if somebody knows where you can get a black or a blue Glen Cairn that we can then have our logo um, etched. And great etched on. Yeah. Let us know. Send. Get with us. Boom. All right. Okay. So, should I nose it? Let's nose it because, like I say, I meant to get notes on okay. this. Ooh. And didn't. Rich cinnamon and caramel, almost a rye. Yep. I'm getting rye notes. So it's a high rye mash bill bourbon. Maybe. Well, I can tell there's rye in here. <laughs> That I can get. The rye is a dillish rye, a rising bread. I, I could have even confused this for a pure rye if you would have just said this is America's. But I do get those sugary vanilla. Good oak. Yeah. But it's not over oaked. For me, over oaked is just kind of like a regular oak in a bourbon. I don't like strong oak. That's interesting. I get a little allspice. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice. That rye is pretty present on the nose. That kind of surprised me. I didn't know what the mash bill of this was. It's definitely a bourbon on the on the palate. Mm. Hold on. Creamy, mm. peppery on the beginning. Mm -hmm. Shifting to a full cream, nice velvet coating on the cheek. Vanilla, cornbread, and buttered popcorn. Buttered popcorn. Creamy. Yeah. Smooth. Yep. Wow. Rich caramel. Mm. Cinnamon. Where's the rye? The rye is there on the nose. Yeah. There's a little bit of a black pepper spice. I think that's the rye on the beginning. Yeah. Right on the forefront. The but it shifts quickly. Almost as much rye as there is on the nose. I expected more on the palate. Going right. In. I agree with you 100%. And it's, and it's less on the palate. Definitely a bourbon with a high rye mash bill. Because I'm getting rye on the nose. Spark of pepper on the forefront. Moving into that warm. <clears throat> mm. There's a little bit of the rye. I got some there on the second sip. Me. I'm going to add a drop of water. Mm. 
while the middle palate and the finish to the buttery popcorn is phenomenal. This feels like a higher ABV to me. I'd almost say 50. 50? 50? The descent? Yep. Drop beats, not bombs. I haven't had the <laughs> I haven't had the Lincoln shirt out in a while because it's actually only an XL, and I'm a two XL kind of guy. So this one's actually a little tight. But I thought since we got the black box and it's black and it's Lincoln and he's got a boom box, I thought it'd be apropos. Uh oh, is that it? No, Ooh. no. You had a that's, picture. That's, a, that's just, a scotch guy. That's our traveling Got dummy. it. That's what I thought. Picture. <clears throat> that's a traveling dummy shot. I thought, oh, is that it? Motorhead? Hmm. you got to tell me about Motorhead. Is that an Instagram shot? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Very nice nose on it the, and, and the palate. As soon as I took the first sip, just really the, the creaminess of it, the richness. Yeah, I... Even as I was saturating my palate with it, I could tell. In the middle now, I've got a little bit of like buttered nut. Kind of like, well, it's kind of like those, uh, I think it's cashews where they'll they'll put a butter drizzle on them at the Nifty Nut House that we go to. And they're, they're like got a buttered sweetness and they're almost like a hard candy. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm still picking up mid palate. Butterscotch. Yeah, on the finish. Inhalation, circular breathing, I'm picking that up. A little, little bit of a rye, not not real strong. Man, I just, I'm, I'm getting a weak rye on the flavor, so I wouldn't call this yeah. rye heavy at mm -hmm. all on the taste. More, that's more on the nose than on the palate, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. All right, I got to know. Are you ready for the reveal, or what do you, you want, want me to go further? Let's score. What do you want me to do? Score. Okay. Eighty-seven. Um, you know, it's weird now, though. Now it doesn't feel like as much of a high ABV, but it is after I put the water in, so I don't know. Uh, I like it. It's good. I love the buttered, buttered popcorn finish. I think I'm doing 87 because I expect a little bit more of the rye kicker. Just from, from the, the bill. Right. And, uh, and, and it's a little bit more. I love the buttered popcorn, but it's a little bit more of the oaky, woody, nutty. Love the mm. cream. And the pepper open. I gave it a 91. So maybe that's some of the influence of knowing what it is. Um, maybe not. It's good. Smooth, rich. I think some of the age um, show, is showing itself here. Mm -hmm. How old do you think it is? Well, now I said that. I don't know. Um, eight years. Ten. Okay. For ten year. Yeah. Because I'm getting the wood influence. The longer it sits and in the wood, the more I'll get. It's 47.2% ABV. Okay, not too so bad. You're pretty close. Yeah, I knew it was a higher. Yeah. Not burning your nose. Wow, rich butterscotch caramel on the nose now that I've added water. That's interesting. I wasn't there before. Okay. Now, price point is $90. Hmm. Here's my deal on that, not knowing what this is. I can get some phenomenal rye and bourbons for a lot less than 90 so I don't know what this is, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm turning towards some other things at $90. Okay. Now that's the purpose of this blind box. Yep. Black box blind tasting. BBB. B, B. And actually it's a blue box. That's a maybe. Four B. Blue, that's the 4B. Paint it or cut it or something. Looks black to me. Plus a Johnny Walker blue label. Right, but box. it's black though. Is it? I think it's blue. It's like a royal blue. <clears throat> um, I think it's worth it. I'd buy it again. Now you want to know what it is? Mm -hmm. Should I reach around there like that? What if I knocked it over? Yeah, on give camera? me reach around. Michter's ah. ten year single barrel. Wow. Well, they are the rye masters, so surely they've well, got the a rye, rye, rye mash bill. Well, bourbon and rye. Yeah, they've got great bourbons too, but I love yeah. their rye. Mm -hmm. Their ryes, their toasted. What's that? Uh, Michter's toasted oak. Mm -hmm. Toasted oak rye was mm -hmm. delicious. Toasted barrel finished, mm. barrel strength rye. That was it. This is 10 years old, Michter's. Nice. Now, keep in mind, though, too, we really, we just cracked this open. Right. It has gets a chance a, to open. Yeah, this gets some air. Yeah. But I think even at this, it's very rich. Very tasty. Um, great mouthfeel, cinnamons and caramels and... 
the, some of the butterscotch, a little, hints of rye. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Charred white oak barrel until it meets their exceptional quality standards. Further mellowed by our signature filtration. Patreon shout out. Oh wait, traveling dummy. H nine four seven. Yes, show the traveling dummy. Yeah, now this did just hit our store within the last couple of weeks. I picked it up. Barrel mm -hmm. number sixteen H nine four seven. So I know they do that, and I think this is the first time they had seen it mm. as well. It, it, it's a limited one of those allocated bottles that mm. comes out. Um, on Instagram, our traveling dummy goes to uh, Sean Hardesty underscore Hellcat Spirits. Wow. And he sent out a picture of our dummies cast two coins sitting on top of Motorhead Whiskey. Hellcat Spirits. But what's Motorhead got to do with what we do? Or what have we talked about recently in Motorhead? Long live Lemmy's Loudness. Remember? He was the, one of the members of Motorhead that passed away. And um, now who is it? One of our... Uh, uh, he keep, uh He's contacted us and sent us some samples. Hmm. But he, he always signs off his emails, Long Live Lemmy's Loudness. Hmm. And he's one of the members of Motorhead. Oh, he's a member. Yeah. Wow. I think he passed away a couple years ago. Right. Yeah. I think you remember talking <clears throat> about that. Oh, yeah. So he's our, the dummies helping, or the on, on Instagram, the quote is, the dummies are helping, helping out with the two-year anniversary of the death of the legendary Lemmy Kil, Kilmister of Motorhead. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Glad so I've, I've never seen Motorhead's no. uh, whiskey, though. No, I'm looking at the box saying that looks pretty cool hard on there. And it matches on the barrel. Todd. Todd was the one that uh, sent us some samples and emailed us and always hmm. signs off. Long live Lemmy's Loudness. Well, thanks, Todd. <laughs> I love that. So, how about a Patreon shout out? Sure. We still got one of those to do. Yes, we do. Is this going to be a mention or a shout? This is a two dollars. Woo! Get ready, Raster. We're about to yell. Rolf, Rolf Isaacson. Ooh, I love that. Now uh, he's commenting. It's Ebhead, um, like twenty four, twenty four or something. But Rolf, Rolf Isaacson. All right. Ready? Yeah. Rolf, Rolf! Isaacson. Oh, Isaacson. That's like two dollar supporter. That's like a Roof. battle name. You could see him beating his shield. You probably say roof. No, no roof. No, well, that's a roll. That's like a Viking warrior. Rolf. Rolf's beating that shield. What are those uh, wild animals scared. like dogs that run around? You calling him a dog? A wild? No. Dog. What do you? How do you pronounce those? Not a coyote, but a. You're making fun of Rolf. No. What do you say? How do you pronounce I'm that? Why would you make fun of a supporter? <laughs> Bart He's making fun of me because I call them wolves. Wolves. Yeah, yeah there's a wolf. wolf there's out wolves. there. There's a wolf. And he goes, no, that's the noise they make when they bark. I go, those are wolves. Wolves. <laughs> Do we ever say I got coin 186? I've got 187. I think we said that at the beginning. But but, now, those sure. are good coins from our very first uh, black box blind tasting. That's a good point. Good point. We did have a fan recently contact and say he wanted a particular coin of the number we had mentioned. Mm. And it was funny because you were just getting, it was up. It was an old coin and you, you must have had yeah. it in a corner stuck yeah. somewhere. Stuffed away. Well, it was number 89. 89. We, out. we were up like, in that's the That's my favorite number. That's my favorite number. You I need 89. Like, yeah. I'm like, yep. yeah. And I, I, had I said, let me send a message. He, maybe if it didn't out I think door. I mailed it yesterday. So On that note, good. aren't these, aren't we about out? We are, uh, the design is in progress for cask three. Cask three. Three. That'll be the third run. We did yep. 350 of these. We're going to do 500 a cask three. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a whiskey cask hat. one was only 250. Right. So and those went out. Those quick. are very limited. Very. You got a cask one coin. Yeah. You are yep. you, awesome. Uh, you've all. been with us for a while. Yeah. That's what that means. But uh, you'll be able to pre-order um, if you want your serial number. Some people want the matching number so they have a running set. Yeah. Uh, what will happen with that is we'll end up getting our digital prints of what it's going to look like. We'll we'll unveil that in the show, and that will open up when you can contact us. You know, I have to contact us within like a two-week period to say, yeah, I want said number, and then you pre-order it. And that also helps us with the outlay when we go to order this huge number of uh, whiskey hats. So, um, Rolf. This is, getting, uh, this is getting better. Uh, the finish on it is very long. It's still, you take a sip of that, man, it hangs in there. Still there. 
like an energizer bunny. Mm. Mm. It's good. Scotch it. You scotch gods. So don't you? Dummies. Dummies. Beats, not pops. <laughs> mm -hmm.